Hey there viewers, long time no see. Welcome back to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we have a 2006 Pontiac GTO with a 6 liter engine in it. And I gotta say, this is one of the nicest looking ones I've seen ever. Um, it's very well kept. And uh, the customer's concern is that it's a crank no start. Let's go ahead and recreate the symptom. We've got a manual vehicle here, right? Millennial anti-theft device. We're gonna go ahead and crank it. And it starts and runs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do we have an intermittent issue? This happens every single time we pick up the camera. I don't know what to say, to be honest with you. I don't know what to say. Because it was towed in and everything and nobody could get it started and now it starts and runs. And I did pull a report. It had a crank shaft position sensor circuit code on it so wow um, yeah every time we pick up a camera it doesn't it doesn't act up so this may be an intermittent issue uh, the customer had replaced the crank sensor um, uh, by themselves so there goes that video you guys have been wondering what has been going on with me uh, it's been a lot of crazy stuff like this. It doesn't act up, or it's a TSB, or it's a programming event, or calibration. It's not really something that, you know, I'm gonna put on YouTube. YouTube, it's uh, more for like, how to troubleshoot and all that stuff, so. I'm rambling. If I could get this thing to act up, I'll come back and pick up the camera, but if not, um, I don't even know if this will ever be published. Uh, maybe just as a channel update, like, hey, what, what, what have you been up to? Uh, stuff I can't recreate. Uh. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I guess that comes with a job. So I said screw it, why not lift it, see if there's anything obvious that we can find because it wasn't running and now it is. So I want to just wiggle some wires and see. I know my crank sensor is in there behind the starter and it's fully seated, I can tell. And I'm just wiggling some wires here. And it's still running. I mean, did we fix it by hooking up a scantle? <laughs> of course not, but I gotta say of course not because uh, people will actually believe that. Um, I said that one time in a, another video, people said, uh, you cleared the codes and it fixed the car. Are you sure you diagnosed it right? So I gotta say that now. Um, I'm gonna bring it down, keep wiggling and see what happens because this is very bizarre. Uh, it wasn't running, it was towed here, I mean, I'm sure you guys understand the scenario here. Uh, intermittent issues uh, suck, and uh, now we got to see, what is it? Is it a wiring harness issue? Is, could it be the PCM, a uh, uh, cold solder joint? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know. It's a needle in a haystack at this point. But at least we have a sense of direction. We know that it's uh, down to one circuit, the crankshaft position sensor circuit itself. So, Keep digging. I'm gonna play it safe and disconnect the scan tool uh, just in case because yeah pins four and five are bridged on scan tools so they will create a ground when it's missing so that's just to play it safe let's go ahead and do some wiggling honestly I don't see these ever and I'm pretty sure this is the PCM. <laughs> GM loves to make really, really tiny PCMs. The new ones are like this size. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong here. I guess that's a good thing, that's good news, but it could be bad news too, because if this thing decides to act up on the street, we're gonna look incompetent. We don't want that either. Because that's one of the things the public should know. If we can't reproduce the symptom, there's nothing we can do. Unless it's a known issue. Or very creative testing results in a failed 
results in, in finding the culprit. But when it comes to intermittent issues, don't get mad at your shops if they can't repro reproduce a symptom and then it happens to you on the street. You know, this, this thing was a crank, uh, crank no start. This thing might um, stall out on the street. So that's where I have to go and drive over 20 miles and see if it doesn't stall on me. Well, hey, listen, Mr. Customer, uh, there's nothing I can really do. Good news is it's car's fixed. Bad news is we don't know what to fix it. <laughs> Just to clarify, the customer did replace the crank sensor on their own and it's still with a crank no start. So, and they did an excellent job. It's perfect. It's uh, fully seated. There's no gap issue and then there's no uh, connector seating issue. Harness looks good. I wiggled it. It's still running strong. So, is it a heat thing? I don't think so because, like I said, my, my brother tried crank, uh, cranking this thing yesterday and it was fully cold. It was after a tow-in. Uh, it was a freezing cold engine. So, this may be one of those cautionary tales instead <laughs> uh, to the public. Instead of a Dayak video, this might be useful for the public to see that. Sometimes we can't recreate it and please have some understanding when it comes to that because it might happen to you when you get your car back or as soon as the car leaves the shop. But we're doing everything we can to recreate the symptom. And if we can't, then we are, our hands are tied behind our back. We really can't do anything about it. So um, we're going to look out for the best interest of our customer. We're going to test drive this thing for at least 20 miles. And if it stalls on me out there in the Florida highway, then I got to go find a tow truck or see if I get lucky, wiggle some stuff and make it run again. But so far I've wiggled down at the crank sensor and at the PCM and we've got nothing so um, we'll see how it goes good morning it is the next day uh, went and did 20 miles on this thing uh, you can see that in the odometer here and uh, not a single hitch came back no stalling no nothing so nothing with heat and then on top of that I uh, let it sit for a couple hours, tried it again, no, no problem. So I did a full overnight. And we're going to go ahead and try to start this thing, see if it acts up. And it does it. <laughs> so yeah, this will be a first of its kind video where uh, it just doesn't act up. And we may have to release it to the customer. And it's going to be one of those videos where uh, this happens. You know, uh, if you're the public watching this, this happens. And it's it's not incompetence. It's not that we don't know what we're doing. It's that if we can't reproduce the symptom, we can't go any further. Um, because then technically we'd be just, you know, guessing here. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. This, this will be uh, a very weird video, but you know, I think it, it needs to be said. So with that being said, uh, thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. <laughs> I'll catch you all on the next one and uh, hopefully we'll actually have a broken vehicle. <laughs>